Now, this is how you can use Notion on your MacBook Pro. So at first, there's, there's going to be a way on how you're going to access it. So two options right here. You can open up your web browser like Safari or Chrome, and you can just look up Notion.com and just log in. When you click on login, you can just start you know, using your Notion the, the regular way, just like you have on your phone or whatever. And you can just start typing in the text and organize your pages right here. But this is naturally without downloading any of the applications. If you want to get a specific app like I do right here, then you're going to need to download a Notion installer file. So just look up Notion download right there and just make sure to get the appropriate version for your computer. So choose which type of software you have and download the installer file and then you're going to be able to install it. However, once you're already inside, the way to use Notion is pretty simple as there are like pages within sub pages. So you can just organize everything around and it's very useful in that sense. And if I, if I were to give you some tips on how you can get the most out of Notion, I would at first let you know about that every single thing right here is essentially a block, right? So this line of text is a block, which I can grab like this and move it around wherever I want. This block is here as well. Or you can see I can move it over and organize everything as much as I like. So that's good thing about Notion. Then the next thing is quite literally an endless amount of text blocks or some extensions which you can add to your pages. This can be turned on or enabled by forward slash. So when you just type on your keyboard forward slash, you can see all of the basic text blocks, headings, bulleted list, adding another page, quoting, you know, adding tables, databases, images, files, and even more like table, gallery view, list view, many different things, even third party integrations with Google Drive, Twitter, and you can see Apple Maps, or I mean, Google Maps and many different things right here. So it is very versatile. So that's how you definitely need to use it to get the most out of it. But even if you want to upgrade it to even larger or higher level, I would recommend you to, again, come back to your browser and look up Notion at templates. And the Notion templates marketplace is a place where you can get templates for essentially anything, right? So for example, if you want to start organizing your budgets or shopping list or whatever it, it might be, there are templates for this. Some of them might be paid. Some of them are free. Most of them are free actually, but let's say I'm going to choose the school category and I'm going to pick up study planner and I can just bring over this aesthetic light pl school planner for this creator. I can just get this template directly into my notion page. So I don't have to waste time creating my, uh, creating one myself. I can just download it directly from the internet and just start using this template. So this is very useful and that's how I do it all the time. So just choose the proper, um, proper page where you want to just add it in here, obviously. And once you do, you're going to be able to access it very easily. So that's going to be about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up if you did subscribe for more videos in the future and I'll see you in the next one.